Hello and welcome. So far I've been using Unity mostly for non-game related stuff. But now for the first time in my life I've decided to develop and release a game. And it will be a multiplayer online pirate game. More specific it will be a two-player co-op game. And now as we have the first working prototype it's time to show what we have. And I say we because for this project I've teamed up with my three sons. While I'm doing the implementation work my sons are responsible for the storyline, the ideas, the features and the playtesting. And this is very important because they are part of the target group. So if they don't have fun playing the game, we miss the point. But before we dive into the storyline and the prototype, please consider subscribing to this channel so you can follow along the development of our fun little game. So here's the storyline. You're a shipwrecked pirate stranded on a cannibal island together with another fellow pirate. And now you have the choice. You are either get cooked and eaten by the cannibals or you go on some quest to gather ingredients for a magic potion the cannibals would like to get. Because the cannibals are too lazy to go on the quest on their own and it would be a win-win situation. So the obvious goal of the game is to gather the ingredients, make the potion and get pardoned by the cannibals to leave the island and get home. But the actual goal is that two players, maybe two friends, just have a lot of fun and a good time together playing this game. So that's why we decided to make it a co-op game and not a competitive one. Okay, here's the prototype already working for two players playing online. And yes, you can throw coconuts, but that's not the core of the prototype. The mission is to get to another island to find some ingredients. To get there you can fly with a seagull, but you need to collect fish on the way to feed the seagulls. And you have to be aware of the sharks in the water. But if you are flying too high, the wind will push you back to the central island. The central tool is a bubble shooter and this is what it can do. We love animals, so we don't want to kill them. In this cage you find one of the precious fish you need to feed your seagulls with. But how to get to the fish? Well, you can also use your bubble shooter. Although this attempt wasn't really successful. And for sure in a pirates game you can also swim. But again, be aware of the sharks. So here's how it could go, but be sure your buddy doesn't open up the cage when the shark attacks. My kids had a lot of fun trying out this first version. Unfortunately, they had most of the fun finding and exploiting bugs. So for a short moment I was tempted to just release this version because we achieved our goal. They had a lot of fun playing it. But maybe from some of the bugs we will develop new features that will make the game more fun. On the technology side I'm using Unity as a game engine and Photo and Pun for networking. But I also use different assets to speed up development. For instance, I'm using the Observe Character Controller and Behavior Designer for the AI, the Crest Ocean System, or the Pirates Pack from Cinti Studio. And this approach allows me to focus on the things I can do best and this is developing fun little game mechanics. So stay tuned for updates on our fun little game and see you next time. <laughs>